Hey everyone, welcome back to MLbox. In this video, we'll discuss how to manage or govern sensitive data in machine learning system with the help of Microsoft Presidio. Presidio is a PII detection tool that will help you to uh, find the sensitive information in your data with the help of uh, NER models in the backend or OCR engines. Okay, it will try to use those tools or models to identify PII information. So the tool is capable of handling text data, image data, and also semi-structured data like pandas table. So yeah, so it is capable of doing a lot of things and we'll try to understand each of these things in three separate notebooks. So we'll get started with the installation. So first is we'll be installing Presidio Analyzer, Anonymizer, and then Language Model from Spacey, and then Image Redactor and the Structure. So we also use uh, Faker to generate fake data like email addresses, uh, phone number, and what so not. Okay, so once we have done with the installation aspect, we'll be moving on to detecting PII information in text data. So we'll import two uh, engines, and these two engines will help you to analyze the data first and then try to anonymize the data. So first uh, we import the two packages and then we'll be uh, sending, creating our text input or input query which will be containing the PII information and in this case we have our phone number. So once that text is there, uh, what we'll do is we initialize the analyzer engine which will try to analyze the input text and try to find PII information with the help of certain models, which in this case it's Spacey. And, uh, and we also pass in that entities that it has to detect, which is phone number. Because a particular input string can contain multiple PII information and which you want to detect, you can pass that into entities. So once that is done, we'll see our results, which is uh, this one. The PI information starts at the index 19 in this specific input string and it sends at 31 and with the confidence score of 0.75. Next, since we have identified uh, the specific information, we have to anonymize that. So what we do is we use this engine to create an uh, anonymizer object and then pass in our text, which is the input query along with the analyzer results. Now that will give you the anonymized text. So if you see, this is our anonymized text. My phone number is, instead of giving a phone number, it gave us a, just a template kind of a thing for a specific phone number. So this is with respect to the text data. When it comes to semi-structured data, we'll be working with pandas table and see how it works there. So let's move to semi-structured. So what we do here is we import pandas package and then we used Presidio structured and then we again same entities which is, contains operator config which is Presidio anonymizer which we used earlier as well and from structured we'll be using structured engine and then pandas analyzer builder so from the structured engine we first initialize the structured engine and then we create a small data frame which contains name and email address so let me import this one first and then run those run this now since we have two uh, two things here first is structured engine which you already initialized here then we have analyzer builder analysis builder which is pandas analysis builder and we'll use that here and generate analyze our pandas data frame which is sample df so let me run this let us see so it is giving, okay, so in the back end it had some kind of an NER model, okay, which it was able to identify this is a name entity and this is an email, uh, this is kind of an URL entity, it is saying it has URL entity which is not the case, which means you have to use a better model for analyzing, okay, this is kind of incorrect because this is, because since it is giving .com, it is thinking that it is a, uh, maybe a website. Okay, but that is not the case. This is purely a G or email address. So uh, this is done. This is tabular analysis. And then what we do is we anonymization operator, we use fakers. What we do is we create a fake faker object that will generate fake mail addresses. 
So what we do is we create two operators, person and email address and pass in replace new value redacted and custom lambda for every uh, whatever it is, it's fake dot safe email. Okay, so let me run this. Let us see what is operators. So this is the operator and this will operate on top of on your tabler, uh, on your sample DF and also the analysis that you have done. So how it wants to handle this, it, it has to what replace it with some value which is redacted and then in this case it will be turning it into uh, something different for email address. So let us uh, do an anonymization on top of this pandas table. Uh, so, so here what it has given is it has redacted the name and this it turned it into none. So let me, so here we don't see anything. Let me just take this out. Let us see what it gives. Yeah, it just gives dummy email address. So yeah, it has uh, turned your uh, PI information, which is your name and email address into something uh, anonymized information. So we can see that here. So this is with respect to how you handle it on pandas table. Next, what we'll look into is images. So let us go back to this one. So let's uh, load an uh, image which contains the PI information. So here we have a driving license from this actress and it contains certain information like birth, date of birth and then some DD uh, number here that is restriction class and then some address is present. So what we do is we initialize image redactor engine and that is happening here and we import the image as well. So if I go back to this one redactor dot redact I can pass in bunch of information here which is if I see here you will notice there is gray skill which is color to fill param image for RGB OCR POC so in the back end it is uh, having something called as an OCR engine to detect the text so you can pass parameters for that as well. Okay, adopt parameters. So that is there. And for now what we'll do is we'll just test it out how it works on this specific image. So what we'll do is we'll just, without taking too much load, we can just pass in the image and we want to, and the image contains English, uh, the text in English language. So language is English. So let us see. So what it has done is it has uh, redacted this information, which is date of birth and then the address and then this DD information. So this is quite simple to get started when it comes to uh, detecting PI information. Uh, what I would suggest is going back to this library procedure and understanding uh, the various resources or the I would call more on in terms of uh, models, right? In terms of models, especially what are the models that are available for uh, doing this PI detection? For example, it has support of transformer model for OCR engine. You can take any of those updated models and detect any of those PI information or better NER models as well. So here, I don't think they have mentioned some information here in terms of model so custom NLP model, yeah. So if you see here, there is something called as transformers. So you can use uh, in your model from transformer as well. I guess I hope they have that support. So yeah, hugging face hub. So yeah, you can able to use what different models for identifying the PI information by using transformer as well. So with that, uh, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.